What's up guys, it's your boy Gmaker here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is Merfolk. I'm playing so many tribal decks this season, I don't know why I keep going back to tribal decks, but um... So I just want to mention that this deck is not new, it's not really a new thing, it's a not as seen thing. Um, the first player was actually a Kazazat, uh, he played it, I think he had like a 4-1 or a 4-0 in a league. And then um, I think another user, I can't remember the name right now, sorry about that, but uh... I picked it up and you know I was playing around a little a couple different numbers but uh I was kind of re-reminded of this list because lately I've been like big on there's been like a rogue deck literal rogues like the tribe rogues I've been playing um some unblockable people and like the last tournament I played I first round I played against a deck that just had a bunch of unblockable dudes and I started looking into it like obviously like the train store soccer is like a rogue and in fact the the rogue but also merfolk and so there's actually Bunch of different merfolk that are actually unblockable, so I kind of wanted to build a deck around that. So I started like researching the lists, and the lists were doing okay. You know, it wasn't a bad list, so why not try it? Let's try it out. Um, first mana base, islands, twenty islands, three crystal veins. Um, these only get awkward when you draw like one in turn two or three, <laughs> but they do help you power out like you know like a turn two like all a try or turn two like deep water roots things like that, or like get a bite in really quick. So you know they're kind of good. You only need like 20, you only need a million islands really. Um, one drops, try to store soccer, uh, you know, an unblockable merfolk. That's kind of like the theme, like kind of sub theme here. The only one drop in the deck. There's not really any other good one drops in my opinion. To me, the next best one's maybe like Cosize Trickster, which uh, gets a plus one plus one counter whenever your opponent shuffles your library. Then it's probably like Dacra Mystic, which like draws cards or something. You each draw cards. It's not that good. This is the best one. Uh, actually, though, no, the Sandbar Merfolk, that one cycles. That's okay, but <laughs> this is the best one. It's unblockable, and it kind of just, like, feeds into, like, kind of the theme of the deck, which is sort of just, like, chipping in damage here and there, and then later just kind of, like, doing a bunch of damage all at once, hopefully. Uh, Curiosity, because all our guys are unblockable, why not just make them draw cards as well? Uh, I mean, turn one short soccer into turn to Curiosity is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good if they don't have removal spells, and... A lot of decks are, they, some of them lack them, you know? A lot of them are like combo decks. Heroic decks don't really play removal spells, so you start drawing a bunch of cards and kind of getting ahead incrementally. Like that. A few drops are where like, combo meets at. Uh, I'll start from the bottom work way up. You can find the middle infiltrator, another unblockable guy. 2-1, uh, can't be blocked, and also cannot block, so don't try to defensive it up. Also, 2, two blue for the devotion, which will come soon later. Chrome Commander, only is a two of. Uh, a lot of lists I saw had four of them. And uh, one of my playtesting buddies in real life uh, plays Modern Merfolk. And I always try to like make him play this card. It's like, dude, you gotta play this card, you need more lords. He's like, no, it's just like so much of a mana sink. And it makes sense because uh, it's a level up creature. So at level four, uh, it becomes the lord and it's also flying. And you know, it, it's you, you, you mess all this mana into it, it could just die. So it's not like that's super good. It's it's very much better late. That's only as a two of here. What I actually prefer as a two job is Water from Bouncer, Honorary Merfolk. It actually is a Merfolk now. It used to not be a Merfolk when I first started playing, but it became a Merfolk shapeshifter, spell shaper. Uh, it comes with basically an unsummon ability, and it's really relevant in like heroic matchups, reanimator, uh, just people trying to cheat on big things, things like that. So um, just for the cost of just discarding a card, so it's not bad. That's his rebuff. Uh, my counter spell choice, there's a lot of different options to use, like Revolutionary Rebuff, Spell Siphon, I think it uh, costs one for each blue permanent you control, but I like that's a rebuff. It's good enough, I would say. It's good when you're ahead and bad when you're way behind, because if you don't have a board, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> but when you're ahead, this is like the best counter spell you could probably ever get. So that's that's why it gets not here. River Sneak, the last of the unblockable Merfolk. It's a new card from Ixalan. Also can't be blocked, but when another Merfolk comes into play, it gets plus plus one. So it's really good with some of the other cards, like the cheap Merfolk, uh, deep water roots that will make other Merfolk, or this guy, Darting Merfolk, which uh, bounces itself back to its hand for one island. Uh, does a, that's a lot of different things all at once. First of all, it's kind of an infinite blocker <laughs> in a sense. Secondly, it triggers like River Sneak a lot. It triggers deep water roots. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. Like it's good enough that I put two of them in the deck. I think. Like, because usually the games kind of end in, like, you making a bunch of creatures or you trying to pump this River Sneak or it, other, getting other triggers somehow with other things. There are different ways uh, this thing can actually help you out. 
But the big card for Merfolk, I think, is Deepwater Roots. I think it's just really good at going wide. Uh, the weird little quirky thing about this uh, card is that it makes Hexproof Merfolk creatures. And that's the key, Hexproof, because I think a big card against this deck, or any creature deck in general, is Parallax Wave. And just having Hexproof on a creature is super big. And it's also on a cast trigger, not even when it enters a battlefield. So even if you're a Merfolk counter in some way, you still get the 1-1 one -one Hexproof guy. So that's, that's really good in the late game, sort of just going wide. Uh, Merfolk Sovereign, probably the best Lord uh, available. He's on Merfolk plus one plus one, and it can make things unblockable. So, you know, maybe uh, your Coral Commander needs to get through or something like that. Or another Merfolk Sovereigns. Uh, Hall of Triumph, the last sort of like Lord effect. Well, I'm playing one of because it's a legendary. I have a lot of legendary artifacts in this <laughs> deck, actually. But yeah, it's a, a Anthem I have a choice. The other Anthem is Sunken City, but it, you have to play two and it, you're key to keep it alive. So, Hall of Triumph is pretty cool. Uh, now one of Biden, um, this is really good at sort of racing in the sense that you can just activate the ability and so they can never block you. But the, the curiosity effect for all your creatures is really good too. It helps you just kind of like pull ahead in the late game. That part's a little wonky in my opinion. Uh, Nulls for, uh, you know, Parallax Wave decks. The Acid Wave decks played Reality Acid, things like that. Uh, it's good against like Reanimate Dead, I guess. <laughs> Uh, just trying to give other just random enchantments or artifacts, you know. They're, they're out there. I think I think Parallax Wave is a big number for this one. Uh, Unsummon, good against the other creature matchups. It's kind of like, especially with Heroic, they just kind of like put all their eggs in one basket and just kind of bounce them up. Uh, extra counter spells so for some control matchups. Uh, I chose Dissipate over to Dissolve or anything like that. Just because the Exile effect is kind of important. Um, things like, you know, flashback spells on Burial Rites, Dread Return. Those are kind of can kind of be annoying. Just uh, there are other cards that just like want to be in the graveyard, just like spells in general. So I think Dissipate's probably the best. If you just want a random three mana counter spell. Kind of Courier, um, kind of like a uh, Goblin Ringleader if you're familiar with like goblins. Same thing, just for Merfolk. Uh, it's not like super great. That's why it's in the sideboard, but it is good in the grindier matchups where they're just looking to kill all your creatures, and this kind of just finds more Merfolk for you. I want to bring those in when like removal heavy decks. Prison Ring, another uh, another use for like uh, specifically red decks, but any aggro deck in general. You can just uh, come back slowly by just playing with such turn one. It's actually really funny with Darting Merfolk. You just bounce Merfolk back over and over. Uh, same with uh, Kevin's Monument. So that will. Uh, that's the only reason actually Kevin's Monument in the, it's in the sideboard. I'm not sure what's really for. Maybe like more of the mid range matchups where they're just trying to attack you and you can just kind of like. It doesn't for Kenneth Monument, you have to remember that it doesn't tap the creature. It just makes it so it doesn't untap. So it is kind of good against heroic. It will just tap them down indefinitely, if especially if you have the Darting Merfolk out. But yeah, that's that's a kind of funny one of. I'm gonna try it out. I'm not sure if it's even necessary, but we'll see what happens. I've had a couple of practice matches with this deck, and you know, it's a lot of fun. I'm actually gonna play it tonight in the tournament. It's Monday. So you'll see the stream of that. So you'll just see the whole VOD. Or cut up VODs like I did the last time. Last time I said, oh, you will get the whole VOD. But then that tournament wait way too long. And the VOD, that VOD would have been like five hours. So for your convenience, I cut it up. But this time, if the tournament's normal size, you'll get to see the entire VOD. You'll, you'll get to see the entire stream its entirety. And you'll see, uh, if that's the case, then you'll see little hyperlinks for each round in the comment section of that video. So, But I'm really excited to play this deck. I think it'd be good, you know. Good to try something new every now and then. And... You know, the, the archetype isn't, like, unproven, I would say. It has a couple, like, 4-0s, 4-1s. And it's unblockable dude nonsense with, like, rogues and, like, you know, whatever. That's that's hard to beat sometimes. For some decks, it's really hard to beat. It's kind of, like, it's going a little bit and a couple, play a couple of anthems, all of a sudden you're winning. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, should be a lot of fun. And I will see you back in the first round.